G'day you good motherfuckers, the Butts Barn here. Come and see me live, I've only got a couple of shows left before the end of the year and before the end of this tour. It's gonna to be absolutely massive, come and see me live, go to IsaacButterfield.com right now. I recently stumbled across a video that terrified me, shocked me to my core, and it was of the beautiful, the gorgeous, the leader of Fat Flaps Anonymous, Nikocado Avocado. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you should know, I'm sure you do know, but just this guy. Big, bad, Nikocado avocado. The fat version of the Terminator. And what I mean by that, if there is seconds available after dinner, he'll be back. Apparently in a video released recently, Nikocado avocado, and this is what shocked me, had a heart attack on camera. Oh my God. He had it during a mukbang video. A mukbang video where you eat lots of food and everyone watches it and jerks off or something. I'm not 100% sure. But this is almost as bad as having a heart attack like Elvis did and dying on the toilet. <sighs> Ouch. <clears throat> Orlin. I need an, uh you to come here and drop the camera so I can tell you something. Okay, so right here he's telling Orlin, who I know is his boyfriend or partner, uh, and I know that because I've watched their OnlyFans and I've seen Orlin's cock in Nikocado Avocado's mouth. So I assume they're boyfriend, boyfriend, uh, or they're just really close mates. Dunno. Uh, but yeah, he tells Orlin to drop the camera and come over here because I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Are you shitting? Now you may think, obviously he's not shitting Isaac, that's ridiculous, as if a grown man would shit on his YouTube channel with millions of followers. Well he's done it before! Play that clip! What an inspiration! Oh no! Oh! 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 <laughs> now, before I go any further into this beautiful man, this video is brought to you by the great people at Manscaped. Dot com. This video is brought to you by manscaped.com. <sighs> Oi, dickhead! What do you think you're doing? I'm getting out of the shower, Claire. What do you think I'm doing? Bullshit! You're positively putrid! Get back in there and get showered! The Manscaped way. Inspired by the Platinum Package 4.0. Step one, the Manscaped Ultra Premium Body Wash is infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean, fresh and moisturised. It's so refreshing! Is that a hint of citrus that I smell? Oh! And a woodsy aroma! Oh! Finally, you almost smell like a real man! Now it's time for step two. Apply your two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. It is naturally hydrating, rich in antioxidants to revitalize the look and feel of your hair. Does that mean that my hair will grow back? Don't be ridiculous. Step three, use the lawnmower 4.0 to trim up that man bush. Your scrotum doesn't need to look like a bloody maze, Isaac. <laughs> Fair enough. Step number four, deodorize. New Manscaped deodorant is aluminium free and dries clear, so you don't have to worry about staining or residue on your clothes. Subtle, yet effective. And also, Claire wanted me to say it's non-sticky. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's good. Step number five, what's deeper, darker, and worse than your pits? Hmm. My anus? Yeah, probably. But how about one back from that? What's deeper, darker, and worse than your pits, but not as bad as your ass? Ah, my balls. That's right. You need the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Step number six. Everyone knows about your crotch rod, Isaac. Claire, why do you have to tell everyone about the crotch rod? All right, I know it stinks. Don't worry, dickhead. They already know. Anyway, for that stink, we have the Crop Proviva Ball Toning Spray. Perfect for a quick spritz. Oh yes, the Ball Toning Spray. And finally, step number seven, the nose and ear trimmer. Mate, you look 45 years old. Are you gonna sort that shit out? <laughs> And if you do these simple seven easy steps, you'll stop looking like a huge piece of shit. Wow, thanks Claire. I'm looking forward to not looking like a big piece of shit anymore. Ugh, 
Now, manscaped.com, if you go and grab the performance package 4.0, you'll also get two free gifts. That is the luxury shared travel bag and the anti-chafing boxer briefs. I use them all the time. I've got like 10 pairs of them. Thank you, Manscaped. I wear them every day. It's actually, they're the best. They're the best. The best, the best of the business. The booze news. Claire also wanted to tell me nice. that I wear them chafing. I mean, I wear them traveling because they're anti-chafing. Well said, Claire. Thank you. That's my wife, ladies and gentlemen. What a lovely person. Head to manscaped.com forward slash Butterfield to get 20% off and two free gifts and free international shipping, ladies and gentlemen. Your balls, your back, your ass, everything will fucking thank you, Manscaped. Good on them now. Back to the video. Thank you very much, Manscaped. Uh, I love making those videos with Claire. They're fantastic. Now, straight back to the Gigado Avocados. Do you need insulin? I'm gonna go out and say this right now. YouTube, listen up. Delete his account. Delete it. Fucking delete it. He is eating himself into an early grave and you are paying him because he gets so many viewers, you are paying him to do so. So what is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to stop? What happens to his money then? His cash flow ends. So he sort of has to keep going. This man is not mentally well. You would never do the same if it was a person who was starving themselves, who was extremely thin and skinny and saying, I'm not gonna eat at all and sitting there with nothing on their fucking plate but a couple of ice cubes and they had an audience watching them every single week. You would never do that. I know there's Eugenia Cooney, this lady here, but she's not just known for being extremely skinny. She's also known for other, th I don't fucking know what she's known for. My point is you're killing this heat. Well, you're not doing it. It's not YouTube's fault. It's his fault. But they're not helping. Anyway, so Orland comes over and says, do you need your insulin? Okay, so if you don't know what insulin is, fucking, I don't know, go back to year six, dipshit. But also, it's to do with diabetes. Helps regulate your blood sugars, your glucose, your blood, etc., etc. Or did they have problems? Okay, now he's having a fit, apparently. Who the fuck watches this guy's content on a regular basis? You deserve to be fucking have your scrotum slammed between the Bible, you bastard. What the fuck is wrong with you people watching his shit? I'm saying here as I've made my 15th video on him this year. Fuck me, I should shut the fuck up. Oh, my head hurts. Do you know you got a migraine too? Ooh, no. <sighs> What's in here? It's the batch or that I said I this has peas. How dare you blame peas? You're eating a small child's weight in butter chicken and yet you're blaming peas. You're eating so much food and you're blaming peas on the behalf of every vegan everywhere. Fuck you to the moon, Nikocado Avocado, you big gravy skull and And that was it. That's all that happened. This whole big thing about, oh my God, he had a heart attack. That is all that happened. That's fucking it, all right? Nothing happened. This is the, how this man clickbaits. He goes, I had a heart attack on camera. I died on camera. I fucked the horse on camera. And people watch. What's wrong with you people? The original video goes for 52 minutes, by the way. So let me break it down into bite-sized pieces. Regular bite-sized pieces, not Nikocado bite-sized pieces, which is just deep-throating anything. She wears the cheese. I ordered cheese cubes. Where are they? <laughs> So did he have a heart attack? No. Am I disappointed? Maybe. It's just clickbait. I get it. It's the YouTube game. But then, this grotesque individual dares to say this. You guys know I majored in nutrition. Whether you believe it or not, I know what I'm doing. I know how to eat off camera. <clears throat> At least I think I do. Fake news. You do not know what you're doing. Well, maybe you do. Maybe you do know what you're doing, but you're not doing it. You're not doing good. That's not good. Like if, if you know that eating all the food in the world will make you into the big fat fucking thing that you are, then sure, you do know what you're doing. But what, what, in what world are you a fucking nutritionist? You fucking diet, dietitian, my asshole, Nick. My asshole, all right? But here's the thing. Something medical did happen in that video. It may not have been a heart attack, but something medical did happen. After the TikTok clip finished, this is what we missed out on. This has already happened on camera before too. Like, this is like the universe Can telling you stop me. Stop filming. Shh, I'm talking. This is the universe telling me. To stop. Not to eat vegetables. It has to be. That's what you're taking away from this, you fucking idiot. You, that's what you're calling a heart attack. You, you genuinely believe your heart has stopped and your boyfriend's worried about you and all you can say is, oh my God, it's veg. Fuck off. You are dying, Nick. Stop. Stop filming. Ouch. Come on. Stop. Ah, or the <laughs> Stop. Stop doing these videos. Stop. You're literally, Stop. you're literally gonna die. You're gonna pass away. 
Stop! Stop eating this! This is garbage! The fuck am I watching? You guys, we just had to take a little break. Well, I'm not gonna watch I'm start, this. Wait, no, I'm not gonna watch this. You need to stay here for at least- Why do I need to be here? Because if that- Nick, edit this part out. If the pills don't work, I need- I need- Don't roll your eyes. Can I just leave? I don't want to watch this. Fine, so if something happens to me and you're not in the room, guess- well, It'll you be on your conscience. It'll you be on your care. conscience. You don't care because you don't stop. I'm hungry! I have to eat to survive! Jesus, all this shit looks so unhealthy. Not just their food, but their relationship is in tatters. Maybe it's an act, but if it's real, it's horrifying. It's an eye-opening look into the very toxic lives that these two live. Like poor Orlan, he's worried about his boyfriend, the man he loves, right? For whatever fucking reason, he's feeding him pills to allow him to continue to eat the giant amounts of food that he eats. That is a bad relationship. Their whole video just continues like this for ages, but my video takes a wonderful turn because this isn't the first heart attack related thing that's happened in his videos. No, 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 not at all. Well, there's no easy way to segue to this. So here's him at the heart attack grill. Hi everybody, I'm here at my second home, which as you know by now, it's the heart attack grill. The heart attack grill, the home of obesity, the mecca of fatness, the tomb of the unknown back fat. This is where really enormous people, people over 350 pounds get to eat just as much food as they want for free. And they have a scale out the front that you weigh yourself in on. That is hilarious and horrifying. I will say this, I'd like to eat there too. But that's just me being a fat pig. Now, if you've never been to this restaurant, basically what happens is you weigh yourself, and if you're above 350 pounds, you get to eat for free. When I first came here years ago, I was 200-ish. A few years ago, he was actually 150 pounds lighter. And that is what I wanted to show you all today. Him then versus now. This is what this YouTube career has done to him. It's Dr. John. We're gonna see if we can make him a little bit heavier today. You think it's possible? Healthy, healthier. I do. Healthier. Heavier. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Is this Johnny Sins' dad? What the fuck is wrong with this prick? Does this doctor just hang out there all day, slowly jerking off over fat people as they die? He's just a pretend doctor, like a chiropractor? What does he do? Does he manage this shop? I'm so confused. Um, I know. I'm expecting. <laughs> Don't ever give up on the program here. The number one thing that anybody's got to have is faith. Faith in the Heart Attack Real Diet Program. Oh. You know why? Because you'll go up and up and up and up. What am I watching? It's like watching your grandmother shower. Every layer that just gets peeled back, it gets worse and worse and worse. <laughs> There it is. There it goes. Over 368. You have been a good boy. I can't wait for you to eat your burger. This is like some sex chubby chasing cult. How fucking woeful. <laughs> so, long story short, here he is sitting down at the Heart Attack Grill now. He's, I think he's recently hit 400 pounds. Congratulations. He made videos on that. But uh, he sits down to enjoy a 20,000 calorie burger. What I'm going to do? Yeah. So, what I'm going to do? Hmm. <laughs> He's ready. I'm ready, everybody. It's time to get my grub on. Okay, so as you can imagine, the gluttony continues. He smashes the burger down, but here's the crazy thing. It's time to look at how he used to look when he first went to the heart attack grill, when this was all just a joke. Are you ready? Oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, by the way, he's going into the heart attack grill with someone who's been on the channel before, the lady that goes by the name, she named herself, Hungry Fat Chick, so enjoy. Over 350 pounds, you get to eat here for free. Oh my god! Look at him! Oh my god, that is incredible! That is a fucking hell! Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Before we begin, I just quickly want to say, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button if you enjoy this video. I'm here making new videos every single day. That is a different human. A completely, I cannot not, I cannot stop looking at it. Wow, like everything's different about him. Not only the way he looks, his face and all that type of stuff, but his mannerisms too, they're different. He almost acts normal. Like at this point, before he had the, like the weird fame and some cash and the OnlyFans, he was actually a professional violinist. A vegan at one point. Very, very skinny. And now, just a fucking Godzilla. Look at that, and you get to weigh yourself. Should I weigh myself? 
All right, go on, Candy. Here she goes. Hungry Fat Chick is like the size of Nikocado Avocado now, in present tense. And back then, he was just her weird fat wannabe apprentice. Let's all have a guess at her weight. I'm gonna say 360 pounds. Four hundred and five pounds! That is just madness! All from doing this, eating challenges on YouTube. That's what she does too. People have subscribed and they watch her slowly kill herself. It's crazy because you wouldn't be allowed to do that with anything else. If a dude was injecting little bits of heroin into himself every single night, you wouldn't be allowed to watch that on YouTube, but you can watch this. Bit fucking weird, right? So let's see how much I weigh. I don't even know. I think 160, maybe 160. Weigh yourself here. So we're gonna step right up. That has to be wrong. You guys, I'm 200 pounds. 200 pounds, 200 fucking pounds to this tiny man. He's like five foot six, tiny. He's doubled in size in like four years. That's how, I think this is how long these videos are apart. About, yeah, about four years. That's shocking. Can we all see where this is going? To a giant hole in the ground. Even if he makes heaps of cash, he's never gonna be able to spend it. He's gonna be fucking dead. I don't know, it makes no sense to me. God, she moves away from her walker like that, like she's a hundred years old. Who in their right mind thinks that's exactly how you want to live your life? Walking around with a walker, like, that's just fucking madness. And what's crazier about all of that is Nikocado saw that and thought, yeah, that's how I want to live my life, you fucking nutbag. I don't think he's in his right mind. And sure, he's physically ill. Basically, of the top 10 risk factors for young, early death, he has almost all of them. And all of them are tied to obesity anyway. So he is there in that group right there. So he is almost all but guaranteed to die early, which is horrible. He's a young dude. He shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. But psychologically, I think he's in a real bad way. Really bad way. As I said before, if someone had anorexia nervosa and was doing things like that, never be allowed. But this is fine. I don't know, I'm just, I, I understand that you should be allowed to do what you want, but I just think that this is just grotesque that he, he should have all the money pulled from his channel. Done. Tomorrow, lose some fucking weight, mate. And if you're out there and you agree with me, you have to agree also that people like Tess Holiday, this model right here, she's a bad influence as well because she's telling people that if you are that size, there's nothing wrong with you. There is something wrong with you. You need to do something about it. Not tomorrow, not fucking in a week's time, today. Stop eating as much. Work out how many calories you need for the weight you should be and eat that amount of calories for fuck's sake. Otherwise, you'll end your life earlier. I'd like to end this video by saying this. I have come up with a way that Nikocado Avocado could continue to make heaps of cash, more money in fact, and spread a positive message. If he fucking buckled down, if he worked out how many calories he needed just to maintain the weight he should be, so he's gonna work in a calorie, what all the Instagram models say, a calorie deficit, right? Work out how many calories you need, then eat a little bit less. If he did that, if he found a way to do that and exercise at the same time and put that up as a daily vlog and inspired people, he'd make a fucking fortune. Nikocado Avocado, do that. Why not? Give it a go. You'll probably make heaps of cash and you'll live a longer life. Why wouldn't you? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Come and see me live. Get the Peace in the Middle East t-shirt and I'll see you very soon. Toodle-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-wop-w